I think the thing that helped me the most from the U of O SPED program in terms of providing me the tools to be successful in my current job is the focus on the family. We never just looked at the children. We looked at the family unit and how to find supports and solutions that not only supported the child, but supported the family as a whole. And those tools have now helped me in my work, in working with parents and in working with children, to, I think, uniquely be experienced and able to meet family needs. Those experiences have really helped me of all of those experiences, I feel like I've become a self-reflective teacher more than anything because a lot of the program work and the classroom work and even the outside work ref forces you to be reflective. I did this, how did I do? What would I do differently? And so I feel like that's the number one thing. I learned how to step back and say, how am I accountable in this situation and how can I change it to make it better? Uh, one thing that I still use uh, in my classroom today um, that I, I really learned at the U of O was uh, the idea of direct instruction, kind of modeling, leading, and then testing students, giving a model, helping them through it on the first time, and then giving them a chance to be successful independently. And I think that works for both inside the classroom and traditional academics, but also out in the community when we're practicing functional skills, getting on a bus, being on a work site, ordering food in the community. When I was in the program, the focus area that I found particularly beneficial was working with uh, learning strategies on how to work with students with emotional and behavioral disabilities. That was the first job that I got out of the program was working in a self-contained classroom for students with uh, EBD. And the strategies helped me to start a classroom from scratch and be incredibly successful with a really challenging population. They, uh, they make changes constantly to to make the best possible fit for, for the new co cohort. I feel like each one, each new cohort is going to be better than, uh, have a better opportunity, not better than us, but better <laughs> opportunity than the next one. What I really took from this program, when I think about it now, is that it really helped me to learn how to be a reflective teacher. And the work that I did in the classroom helped me when I was in the classroom to automatically go to those thought processes and think about how was this interaction with a kid, what could I have done differently, what was successful, what wasn't successful, what can I improve on, what can I build on, to always be thinking about how can I be a more effective teacher. And the reflective process, I think, is the key to doing that. I'm intrinsically motivated by teaching. I really, really, I get, I get an adrenaline rush from being in front of kids and watching them learn and watching them have growth. And I also, you know, yeah, all of that hard stuff is behind me, but I have this full career ahead of me and I know that I have possibilities. I know that if I wanna try something else within the special education field, I have that opportunity, I have those skills. And I also look to, I mean, furthering, I would love to get my doctorate degree and, and continue. Um, to just really be a part of this field that's dynamic. It's always changing. There's always new things. We're learning new things all the time about how to instruct kids who have such diverse needs. Mm -hmm.